What's up, y'all? Empresari here, back at you once again in another video. I hope all is well with you today. In this video, let's discuss how your enemies flatter themselves. There are people who cross you, and after they cross you, they begin stalking you, everything you do and everything you say. And since their lives revolves around you and stalking you, they think that that's how it's supposed to be for you too. They think everything is supposed to still be about them. Although you could care less, they still want to think they are special because they flatter themselves. You could say something on your social media platform and you had a whole nother person in mind, but someone else who also crossed you sees it and gets offended. You weren't even talking about them. You didn't have these people to think about, but they still get upset. It's because they have become monitoring spirits that just keep watching you. They cross you and then somehow they think everything you say after that is about them. As they watch you, every single thing you say is up for grabs to be scrutinized by these people. You may have said triggering words like enemy, ah, fake family, fake friends, or ex. You may have had one ex, and then you may have had one or two exes after that. Now, every time you say something on your Instagram or your Facebook or your Snapchat about exes, your ex from two, three relationships ago finds a way to chime in from a fake account to add their little two cents to let you know that they didn't like what you said about exes. But of course they know what you said because they're still watching you. You was talking about your last ex, not them, but they still upset. They want you to feel like they are the prize that you lost and you not being with them is your karma. But actually, who they are currently with or who they will be with, as well as their constant undying obsession for you is their karma. Some of the narcissists that you may have discarded from your life have moved on and they want you to believe that they are happy with their new supply. But it's obvious how that's going. It would be much easier to believe that they are happy with their new bae if they weren't constantly stalking you and leaving death threats and hate and shade on what you're doing. People that are happy and content with their new bae, they don't even have you to think about. They would not be worried about what you are doing or what you are saying because they would be so busy, so caught up being so happy. One family member could have crossed you a while back and then another one crossed you maybe recently. So then anytime you say something about fake family or family and indicating family at all, certain people get triggered and get in their feelings and get mad when you weren't even talking about what they did. You wasn't even thinking about that. You didn't forget, let's be clear, you didn't forget, <laughs> but that's not what you were talking about. You didn't even have them on your mind, but they flatter themselves so much that they think everything is about them. Technically, they know that they have put themselves in certain categories of people with you. So if, they, if you say something like enemy or op, that automatically triggers them and makes them think, okay, wait, is she talking about me? Is he throwing shade at me? Because they know they put themselves there. But had they not crossed you, they wouldn't even have to think like that. If they didn't do anything to you, they wouldn't even be offended. They would already know that was for somebody else. They take what you say out of context because they want to make it about them, even though it wasn't even about them. They big up themselves. They have big egos. That's why they flatter themselves so much. And it's almost like they wanted what you said to be about them just so they could be mad. Some of these people forget that you exist in a world with other people. They forget that it's possible you could have had another situation with somebody else that didn't have anything to do with them. It wasn't about them. But since they want to get all offended and get in their feelings, let them wear the shoe that fits. If the shoe fits, go ahead and let them wear it because they wouldn't have to be questioning everything you say or be offended every other thing you say had they not did whatever they did to you. They think you need to talk and express yourself on eggshells because they are watching you. 
somehow they still believe that you should have some degree of care and loyalty towards them. Some of the people who did you wrong are unable to mentally and emotionally let you go. And even though certain things might have revolved around them to a certain degree when they were a part of your life, it doesn't anymore. So much has happened since then. There are multiple reasons you do what you do and say what you say. For example, if you're a light worker or an empath or just somebody who likes to rightfully express yourself, you could have said a certain something to cheer someone else up and help them through things because it could have been something you have been through before or something that somebody else you know has been through. Even though you were just trying to uplift somebody else and or just express yourself in certain ways, some of your enemies are taking it personal and they think you're taking shots at them when you're really not. These people who are getting offended could have done something to you a while ago. We're talking months, maybe even years, and you could have had differences with other people since then. But because they flatter themselves so much, they still think you are very much talking about them. They could be doing many other things. Why don't they go watch TV? They could go watch the Discovery Channel, but they rather watch you so that they could discover what you are doing. They are offended because they know what they did to you and their guilty conscience is making them feel like you're calling them out. It's their guilty conscience and the flattering, the constant flattering of themselves that's making them think this. However they take stuff is how they take it. They didn't walk on eggshells when they were betraying you, but they want you to walk and talk on eggshells for the rest of your life regarding them. At the end of the day, you said what you said. You meant what you said, and you would say it again. So they have two options. If they're going to continue watching you, they should really learn to chill out, pipe down, get out their feelings, stop flattering themselves and thinking everything is about them, or stop watching you and leave. That's it. Because we are not pacifying the feelings of people who did actually betray you, even if you wasn't talking about them. If they decide to take what you said how they want to take it, that's not your job to have to go and clarify for them. Like, no, op number five, I was talking about op number 10 back there. Not you, just chill. That's unnecessary for you to do. They already know that watching you is going to trigger them, but they watch you anyway. You're an adult, though, that can do whatever you want to do. You can choose to encourage other people if you want to. You can choose to express your feelings if you want to. These individuals, they don't get to dictate and control how you do that. Folks just shouldn't cross you, but the flattering themselves isn't helping them. For more exclusive content from me, be sure to check me out on Patreon. There will be a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Peace.